my name is Pavel Fernandez and today I will be looking at the placement I've drafted on at certain Finnish soccer centre. So first we'll start with an overview of the placement where we've achieved a improvement in the number of children that are attending sessions on a Saturday morning. Um, we've done a training event for coaches and volunteers. Um, this is try to, to try and target these volunteers and try and get them to to come down and join us. Uh, therefore, we 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 are making a strong community, um, and we've achieved this by increasing the number of coaches, volunteers, and also junior coaches uh, helping out in the sessions. This might help them in in future qualifications that they might wanna might wanna do. So let's see uh, what we've done from October, the start of the placement, uh, until now April. So the start of the placement will. Uh, we were working on a Saturday morning, we still are, uh, coaching age groups from four, four years old to 16 year old children. Um, this had uh, not a very good structure, so this is where I took part, helping out to, to build a structure to, to the sessions and to the, to the year. Um, but as a fresh start, it was good to, to see how a community club worked. Uh, then in, in November, that's where I, I went on to do a training event for all coaches, volunteers and junior coaches. Uh, this was trying to make a plan, a uh, progressive development plan, uh, where I looked at the FA priorities uh, so we can uh, follow them as, as a team and the different coaches uh, systems that they can use and they can, it can be used during the sessions. Therefore, I built a season plan uh, that we're going to be looking at now. Uh, in this season plan, we can see that the the topics are divided every t every three weeks. Uh, this was to be able to give the children an opportunity to develop, even if they don't turn up every week. This ended up working uh, really well. I did a, a presentation with a workshop uh, with all the coaches. Uh, everyone took part, uh, answering questions and looking at new methods to to get more children, more children into physical activity and sport. Then in January we started looking at numbers, uh, numbers, such as the number of children uh, attending the, the session. In October we were looking at about 20 children per week, uh, whereas November to January we 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 were able to to increase that number to about 65 to 75 children per week, back from the weeks uh, where the weather conditions were. Were, were really bad um, and only about 30 to 40 kids turn up and that's still an improvement from October uh, so we actually achieved what we wanted to. We also had a, um, a really good number of uh, volunteer junior coaches and actually qualified coaches. Uh, in October we were looking at 30 coaches plus 8 volunteers and junior coaches whereas in January we were looking at 35 qualified coaches plus 10 volunteers and junior coaches helping out. Uh, looking at the, the, the increase in the numbers of volunteers and junior coaches, in February we did a junior coach and volunteers training event. This was um, some level twos um, doing doing sessions uh, for, for these junior coaches and volunteers and teaching them how to structure a session, how to set up a grid before the kids come in, how to uh, interact with the kids, how to communicate, uh, giving them more opportunities for their development, uh, looking looking at these uh, volunteers and junior coaches uh, to be more prepared to go into a maybe level one or any type of workshop such as disability um, that they might want to do and also giving them a future chance to lead a session um, and go on and, and, and do some coaching. Uh, then in March we started the Wildcats program. The Wildcats program uh, gives gave us the chance to 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 have more girls involved in in the soccer center. Uh, it's a uh, only girls football uh, event that we ran just before the soccer center, giving these girls the chance to join the soccer center after the the Wildcats session. Um, we're still working on it since we only started last month. Um, but so far so good, we're, we're getting more numbers, more girls uh, joining in the sessions uh, week by week. 
and then we're looking at our April and the future, so like summer programs, summer projects, where we're looking at the Summer Soccer Centre. Uh, this is just the soccer centre run. Uh, it runs uh, during the summer um, as normal, like the rest of the year. However, we do have a football club event at the end of the summer, and the the players for the soccer centre actually can join that that uh, football event. Uh, it's like a festival if they want. Um, we'll have a training event for new coaches joining us for next year, and we'll be looking at certain feeding nursery schools program. Uh, we're still uh, working on it. It's still in uh, uh, projecting in progress uh, but we, what we're trying to do is aim the nursery skills and the nursery schools and try and get more kids more four and five year olds to join us and therefore give uh, a community a a good start uh, an early stage with some physical activity in the sport now we're going to be looking at sports and health uh, as we said before we're trying to aim Nursery, school, nursery schools, so four and five year old children to join us to give a, an active start to young people and also give more opportunities uh, to volunteers as well. So if there's more children, we need more people helping out. Uh, this way we're building strong communities. Uh, looking at sports and going back to sports and health, inactivity accounts for 3.5% of the disease uh, burden and up to 10% of the European Union deaths uh, held in 2013. And 40 minutes per day can be sufficient to add three years life to, expect to life expectancy when it's out in 2011. Uh, set this, and this is what we're trying to do with, um, with the soccer centre. We're trying to give children the opportunity to do uh, two hours of football if they're joining the wildcats programme uh, in terms of girls. If not one hour of football uh, a week, at least every, every Saturday every Saturday morning. Um, with this, we're also looking at children and young people. Obviously, that's the, the, the our aim, uh, trying to get more children to, to play sports. Uh, so we're trying to tackle an activity from an early stage. Um, we're looking at inactivity physiology. Uh, this is the effects of prolonged inactivity. Uh, Dustin Natal in 2007 said um, that now we're adopting uh, and, and a way that where, where low activity is the only meaningful counterpart to high activity. This means kids either do a lot of activity or not enough. What we're trying to do in the soccer centre is give these kids the opportunity to find this uh, kind of like middle uh, point, middle stage where they can do at least one hour a week um, and be, be healthier. Uh, in some sports also we can find uh, active exclusion uh, of minority groups uh, may occur. Uh, more worrying is uh, the institutionalized exclusion of especially young people. This is known as the relative age effect. With the relative age effect, we can find different um, development in, in the children's bodies. Uh, so we can see uh, bigger children uh, and the small children, they're in the, in the same uh, age. Uh, group. However, in the soccer centre, what we're trying to do is we're trying to give all children the opportunity to participate no matter what their development is. Uh, this means adapting the games that we do to their needs and not looking at uh, excluding children that are not developed enough to practice sport. Then we're looking at volunteers. Uh, about 2 million volunteers take part in English sports. Uh, this means that there's uh, over 1 million individuals providing 1.68 million coaching hours a week. Uh, it was said by North 2009. Um, these volunteers have multiple motivations, multiple motivations to engage with uh, the response. However, we should be looking at the five, hour, at the five hours of intervention if we're looking at building a stronger community. What are the five hours? One is recruitment, so promoting opportunities for volunteers. We're trying to do this in the soccer centre by giving uh, the chance to either young people uh, to come and help us out or um, new students at the, at the University of Euclid. Uh, the second one is retention, uh, so we're supporting to keep the participants within the club. How are we supporting this? Uh, one way, as I said before, 
it's by giving them training events and teaching them how to coach, giving them the chance to then go and lead a session and be more prepared to, to go into any qualifications that they might do. The next one would be resistance. So encourage positive behavior. Always looking uh, at the volunteers as people, as young children that they might be or adults, but always looking at them to, to have a smile on their face when they're coaching, to enjoy what they do. Next one would be relapse. Uh, so looking at talent development programs. Uh, so if we see that someone can make a big impact or can make a difference, we're looking at giving them the chance to go into, for example, a level two, or looking at any other programs that might be suitable for them. And the last one is recovery. So well-placed support to enable them to progress. Always giving them the chance to progress constantly. If they do a level one, how can we help these volunteers to go into their level two, or go into, for example, disabled coaching, um, and hopefully uh, we, we're giving them the, the chance that they are looking for. Um, and another another um, thing to look at is there's 150,000 voluntary uh, clubs organising the sport in the UK. Uh, we're obviously one of them. And according to the Elite Commission in 2006, there are 3,489 sports and recreation, recreational facilities with public access in England. In England. Um, what I want to say with this is we're constantly trying to give uh, more children the opportunity to play sports. Therefore, we need more volunteers. Uh, that's why the five hours of, interve of intervention are really important uh, to look at when you're working in a, in a voluntary club. Uh, the, this is the way we do in the in the soccer centre, and, and uh, so far we, we've achieved what we wanted to. There is more volunteers joining us, giving them more chances, and actually, for example, having one sixteen-year-old just finish his level two, um, and maybe looking at doing his UFB in a couple of years, and that's what we want to see. That's what we're trying to achieve: just give more opportunities to young people and volunteers. Now we're looking at observations in the placement. So uh, every week, week by week, we've been um, trying to capture uh, different observations um, and making a note out of them. The placement, because we started in October 21st, uh, we looked at children playing, uh, children participating, um, and we only had 20. That's why we did the training event. Looking at the training event, all we wanted to do is get more children uh, participating and playing a sport. We did it. However, in winter, we had we, we were looking at uh, a, a drop in the number of children that were turning up. This, uh, most of the time, was due to the weather. So the numbers dropped during winter. Um, why is that? Because of the weather conditions. Uh, what can we do to fight this? If the weather is bad, we're all, we are looking at less children participating, participating in, sport, in the sport. This is definitely not what we want, and it is less children taking part, which means we're not achieving what we want to achieve, these uh, kids uh, starting uh, healthy and, and giving them the chance to participate. But we had an idea. It's not very... Um, crazy idea, it's pretty easy if you think about it, but you've got to have the facilities to do it. So, during days of really bad weather, what we did is we did the sessions providing a facility where the kids could play indoors. We did this for four, about four and five year olds, uh, just because uh, six, the six year olds, seven year olds, eight year olds, nine year olds and ten year olds actually were turning up but the younger kids were the ones that weren't. Uh, by providing a roof to these kids when the weather was bad, it meant an increase in the number of children participating and more smile faces. Uh, what we wanted to do with this is, um, I was looking uh, every day at why kids were participating less in sport. Um, I couldn't find any other reason apart from the weather. We had to do something about it, and that's what we did. We moved the session to indoors for the younger kids and actually we achieved uh, what we wanted to achieve there is more kids participating now uh, we should be looking now uh, different ways to also 
um, progress this somehow? Can we make sure that the kids participate, even if it's cold, even if it's bad weather, weather conditions? We could be looking at, for example, futsal or fire side, where it's played indoors, um, and we can uh, make sure that all kids participate all year long.
about providing different sports, such as futsal, even basketball, whatever it is that we can play indoors. Um, uh, apart from the sports centre. Uh, and then looking at getting more kids involved, we can, uh, we can, we need to bear in mind that we are a global community and our, our aim is to get kids to play sports and to get them to race to join us to give them a better opportunity. So the way to do this basically uh, is by giving more and more and more opportunities for kids through programs and projects, uh, different workshops, um, so that's that's what I'm looking at in the future, the nursery school uh, project, uh, giving more opportunities to young kids, uh, start early, um, stay healthy, start early, and um, then just uh, looking at keeping those kids at the attention uh, and the five hours intervention, uh, start at Stay active uh, for the kids and for the volunteers. Uh, Vivo Sol was a brilliant experience. Uh, um, glad to, glad that I joined them and uh, gonna stay, I'm gonna stay working with them for, for the next uh, couple of years. Uh, hopefully for the next year, but it's, it's gonna take a bit of time. So uh, it was really good.